Hello and welcome back. We're now firmly in the Chinese year of the pig and I would like to mark the occasion by showing you my local pig museum. And uh, if that sounds weird, wait until you see it. But uh, a first a few shout outs. Alright, I've arrived at the, uh, the pig museum and uh, parked outside is an old tram which has been sprayed pink and has been given a pig face. I'm still outside. There are various tables and benches where you can sit and have a beer and have your cigarette and there are pigs aplenty. I'm still outside and I've already seen more pigs than you can shake a stick okay, at. Let's go in. That'll be fun. There's of course a restaurant attached to it. Presumably it'll have an awful lot of pork on the menu. Alright folks, I'm in. And it really is all about pigs. It's quite something. Never been to a museum like it. Must admit it's ever so slightly creepy. Let's press on. <laughs> A pig skeleton. <laughs> Jesus. Various stages of the pig fetus. No idea what this is, but oh guys, it's disturbing. It's an informative poster about pigs being used for organ transplants and for stem cell harvesting. Information about the domestication of the pig. I am speechless, and that doesn't happen very often. Good grief. This is a very quirky place. There's ornaments made from pig's teeth. I don't know what to call this stuff. I'm a bit lost here, quite frankly. All the ancient gizmos that used to be used to uh, turn pigs into pork mints. This is quite awesome. I think I'm going to walk through reasonably quickly. Even on the ceiling, mugs with pig themes. This is huge, I had no idea. It's a little bit of overload and it's difficult to pick out the highlights. These are different kinds of pig. Okay, people, I really feel I'm taking one for the team here. Pig orchestra. And here, an orchestra of tiny little pigs with conductor. Piggy jars with spouts. There's the lucky pig and tiny little piglets made from weenie seashells. Oh, boar skin with a kind of frilly, frilly trim around it.
There seems to be a room you can you can hire for for sort of private private stuff, private functions and meetings. Or maybe for real pig lovers who want to get married in a pig museum. There is something ever so slightly surreal about this place. There's a special section for the horny pig, which looks a bit like a like a cabin in a peep show. And I won't tell you how I know this. This is all about sexy little pigs. So Easter eggs decorated with pigs, who knew? Look at this. And Christmas decorations with pigs. Here we have a massive illuminated pig's udder with lots of little piglets in the straw. Gonna pass on the piggy peep show, I think. This is an entire room devoted to, to piggy banks and it's kept very dark for some reason. Look at this. Floor to ceiling, piggy banks in porcelain. Yikes. The different languages for pig. Of course, it's the uh, pièce de résistance. These are plush, plush pigs. These are sort of textile, cuddly toy pigs, and a whole pyramid. Oh my god! A huge loft room full of pigs, all the way up to the rafters. I feel I'm trapped in a little bit of a nightmare. Swine related literature. So that was the incredible pig museum in Stuttgart, which is apparently the largest in the world. And it wouldn't surprise me. It's, it's over two floors and it's huge. And uh, for a vegan, it's a little bit like being trapped in a nightmare, but I think kids will love it. And uh, afterwards you can recover over, over a beer and some pork knuckles in, uh, in the restaurant downstairs. So once again, thank you for watching and a few more shout outs and I'll see you next time.